In this presentation, we're going to enter a sales receipt and apply that sales receipt to a job that we have set up in a prior presentation. Let's go with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're currently in the customer and sales section. You'll recall in a prior presentation that we had set up some jobs here. Let's take a look at those jobs. If we set up, if we say, take a look at the jobs drop down and then go into the view and edit jobs, we will see the jobs that we have set up. So that's going to be 3005 and 4002. If you want to set up those jobs, you can do so by simply go into the jobs drop down and saying new job and then we just basically imported the job number so you don't have those jobs set up already you can do so in that format now we're going to create a sales receipt and post them to the job so we're going to go down here sales receipt we've seen in the past we're going to use the uh, receive money form and we're going to kind of imagine that we're going to be recording the sales receipt to the job here so we're going to say receive money uh, from customer now the job that we're, we're looking at is going to be job 4002 and it's tied to Sam the Guitar Man, who is the customer. So I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, deposit ticket number here. And we're going to say that, uh, and no, we're going to put this through the clearing account so that we can group them together uh, of our two methods of thinking about how we're going to group the deposits together. So, and then I'm going to go into our item dropdown. Now this is going to be connected to Sam the Guitar Man. So I'm going to apply it out to Sam the Guitar Man, but then apply it to the job down here with the jobs field in our in our system so i'm going to put a reference number i'm just going to add a reference number and a receipt number and then this is going to be on the date of 013120 we're going to say and then we are going to populate the item down below i'm going to i'm going to we could have it as a check or some other type of format and then i'm going to go down below and say that we want the quantity of and I'm going to say one, and this is going to be a service item, which is going to be guitar service. So we set up the guitar service. So I'm going to say tab, and that's going to be the 100. Actually, I want it to be there for 100. So I'm just going to put 100 here. I'm going to change that to 100. And so there we have that. Now, the key here is we're going to be assigning it to a job. And the job we want to assign it to is if I select the job drop down. We want the 4002. So we're going to assign that to the job 4002. And then I want to be up top as well. I want to put this into the clearing account. So we're going to put this into the clearing account. So our objective or what's going to happen when we do this, it's going to be a sales receipt. So we're imagining this is a service basically happening in the shop. We're going to get paid at the same point in time that we record it, increasing revenue with the sales receipt, the other side increasing cash. We're going to put it into the cash on hand because we're going to imagine we take it from the cash on hand and then we're going to put it uh, in the bank in some lump sum and we want to transfer it at that point in time so it's in the bank or in our system in the same format that it will be shown in uh, the bank. So that's going to be what we have here. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to do it again and then we'll go ahead and check it, take a look at them. So I'm going to say save and let's do another one. So I'm just going to put a ticket up top. And note that I'm putting a deposit ticket up top. It's like we don't have, we haven't actually made the deposit in our imaginary problem here. But we're going to be taking it through the clearing account. And that's, we're going to use that method to group the deposits. That's why I'm going to put the ticket up top. And then in any case, we're going to say the customer then. The customer is going to be Jones. Jones Guitar. And so then it pops over and we have our invoice. But we're not going to be dealing with the invoice right now. We want to be back on over to the apply to the revenue item. We're going to give it a reference number. So we'll have the reference number and uh, the receipt number. It's going to be as of the 31st again. It's on the cash on hand. It's going to be the account that we, we are going to want. And then we're going to populate down below the item. So this time I'm going to put two and we want a partial service. Partial service. And that's going to give us that $200. And we're going to apply this then to the job. And the job this time we want to apply to is going to be if I select the drop down uh we want jones so the 3005 the 3005 that's going to be it what's this going to do again it's going to be uh putting the money into the cash on hand the clearing account that we can then transfer to the checking account when we make the deposit so it's going to go into there the other side is going to be going to revenue and it's going to be assigning to this job 3005 let's go ahead and save that and then i'm going to say yes 
Then let's take a look at our reports. So I'm going to close this back out. We're going to go to the reports. We'll take a look at the financial statements. So let's open up the financials. Actually, let's take a look at the uh, general ledger uh, report and go to the working trial balance. It's going to the working trial balance. I'm going to adjust the options up top. So we will adjust the options in the working trial balance. I'm going to put this for the specific date of uh, the end of January. Let's go to the end of January. And then we're going to remove the zeros. So let's remove the zero balances here and then say, OK. So there we have it. Now we have the cash on hand has the 300 in it. If I double click on it, there is our two transactions. There's the 300. Now it's increasing again. It's going to be decreasing when we make the deposit. So we're going to make the deposit out of there into the checking account and group them together as they will be seen on uh, the bank statement. The other, the other side, then go into revenue. So the revenue is going to be down below. It's going to be on our income statement accounts, and it's going to be in the service revenue. Double clicking on the service revenue, that will take us into the 100 and the 200 we can see there as well. So we see those items closing this back out. Let's look at the jobs reports now. So if I close this back out and we go back to our reports here, let's take a look at the jobs reports. So we have some options for the jobs reports. We have the estimates, estimates, estimates. We have the uh, job ledger transactions that are assigned to a job. Let's look at that one. Let's look at the job ledger. And then uh, if we open this up, there's the 200. There's uh, the 100 assigned to job 4,050. Uh, and I'm sorry, assigned to job 3005 and job 4002 and then if I close this back out the other thing we can take a look at is the profit the job profitability report so if we look at the job profitability report then you've got a similar report here for job 3005 and job 4002 so we're not going to get into a lot of detail on on the jobs or a job costing system but you could uh, you could take a look at those in here we might do another course just on job costing at some point in the future. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.